I'm Professor Mandel. Um, my office is in Humanities 258B. So that's the second floor of this building all the way down at the end. Um, my office hours will be Wednesday, right after this class for an hour. Thursday from 12 to 1. And my appointment. So if neither of those times works for you, just let me know. I'm sure we'll be able to find time that will work. Uh, number of my office is 442-4264. My email address is just my last name, M-A-N-D-L-E, at all the new ideas. That's all on the syllabus. Um, I want to mention right at the start that uh, we're planning to video uh, record this class and post the videos on YouTube. Um, this will be a resource that you can uh, take advantage of. Obviously, if you miss a class, you'll be able to watch and see what you missed. Um, also, if there's something that wasn't clear or you want to go over something I said in class in preparation for a paper, for example, you can watch it over and over and over and over again. Um, our plan is not to record anybody's face, except mine, unfortunately, um, or to identify anybody on the video. Um, but if you have any kind of issue with that, let me know. Um, you, like I said, we're going to our plan is to put them up on YouTube so you can get the videos there by searching for you, Albany, philosophy, all one word. So I guess we'll have a, a channel there that we'll be posting into, and you can subscribe to that if you want. This is newish to me, so there might be some bugs along the way, but you should be able to search for you, Albany, philosophy, all one word, and get the videos. Um, I'm not sure I can do this, but I'll see also if I can find a way to put direct links up to those videos in Blackboard. So that should be helpful. Um, okay, so as you can see from the syllabus, um, in this course we're only going to be reading uh, three authors. Um, Thomas Hobbes, Immanuel Kant, Friedrich Nietzsche. Uh, there are many, many other authors that we could uh, have included. When I've taught this class in the past, I have included other authors. I've included Hume, I've included Mill, I've included Sidgwick sometimes. Um, but by going with a short list, only reading three authors, um, on the one hand, we're obviously going to be leaving out some important philosophers, some of whom I just mentioned. But on the other hand, we'll be able to take our time and read in depth uh, these three authors uh, and get a sense of their work that I don't think we'd be able to uh, do if we were going to uh, uh, cover many others as well. So we'll be reading um, a little bit less, I think, than half, sorry, a little bit less than half of Thomas Hobbes' book, The Leviathan, in 1651. We'll be reading all of Immanuel Kant's Groundwork to the Metaphysics of Morals from 1785. We'll be reading some excerpts from Immanuel Kant's The Metaphysics of Morals, which was published about a decade later. So the readings for this work I'll put up on Black. Um, and then we'll conclude with Nietzsche's The Genealogy of Morality from 1887. Um, so those will be what uh, we'll be reading. Um, and you will be writing a paper on each one of these. Um, each paper is going to be worth, you should think of it, as about 30% of the grade. Overall, um, I'll talk about papers in just a minute, uh, but the remaining roughly 10% of your grade will be based on participation in discussion in class 
and the use of the clickers. Um, so you do need to get a clicker. They're available uh, in the bookstore. If you're using, if you have other classes that use clickers, you can use the same one. And um, once you get it, you need to register uh, the, the number, which is in the very small print on the back. It also comes up when you turn it on the screen. And you can register that through Blackboard. In this class, we'll basically be using the clickers for three um, kinds of functions. First, I'll be using it to take attendance. Probably not every class, but um, enough to get a sense whether you're actually here. Um, so whatever else we do with them, when you click in, that tells me that you're here. Uh, and not clicking in tells me that you're not here. Um, Mostly, we'll be using these for polls. So I'll put a question up on the board um, to get a sense of what the class thinks about that, and then that'll lead to discussion. About that. um, but sometimes, also, I will give a quiz. Um, and the quiz is simply to make sure you're keeping up with the reading. I won't, I will try not to make it hard uh, it will be simply uh, reflecting the reading assignment for that day. And as I said, on the syllabus, all together, this will be roughly 10% of your grade. So my advice is don't worry about the precise numerical score on the quiz or attendance. Just be here. Just participate. Um, and that will be fine. So as I said, most of the grade is going to be determined by the papers. Um, one on each of our authors. The due dates are on the syllabus in here. Um, and let me say a, a little bit about these papers. Um, because part of the assignment for each of these Part of the assignment is for you to come up with an appropriate topic related to the reading. So I'm not going to give you questions to write about. Part of your assignment is to come up with a question that you want to write about um, that's related to the reading. I can help, of course. And in fact, I'm going to require that I help. You need to submit a proposal for my approval at least one week before the paper is due. So you can do that. So you can do that either by coming to my office, uh, talking to me about it, or sending me an email. But you need to make a proposal for each of these at least one week before it's due. In this class, in the discussion in the classroom, most of what we'll be doing is talking about the primary texts. Most of what we'll be doing is trying to make sense of what these authors wrote. Um, but in your paper, I want you to, in addition to doing that, I want you also to discuss some part of the secondary literature. That means you need to find an article or a book chapter by somebody writing about one of those authors. Uh, and this also is part of your assignment for these papers, to find an appropriate and useful piece of secondary literature. Um, let me just say, these are very central authors in the history of philosophy. And so there will be tons and tons of articles and chapters and books about them. Some of them are very, very good, will be very helpful to you. They will help you understand what's going on in the text. They will uh, have criticisms or comparisons that will be very useful to you in writing the paper. But there's a lot that's really bad. And so, in the secondary literature. 
And so part of your job is to not just find the first article that you that you come across that has the main content, but one that's actually going to help you. And let me say again, I want to help you with that. And so part of your proposal, one week ahead of the due dates, is to tell me what piece of secondary literature uh, you're going to work from. So let me give you an example of how you can do this. Uh, the library website um, had, is your friend. It's going to um, let you get access to two databases in particular that will be very useful. Um, and it's really, they're really easy to get to. Here's the um, main university homepage. You can click on libraries there. Here's the library. Over on the left it says database, but right here, right in front, it says search for databases by title. So I'm going to give you right now two titles of databases.